This is a kind of a well-hidden place one would never suspect. How were you tipped off to this operation? This is an investigation that uh, started in 2005, shortly after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, we received a 911 call in reference to a fire. And when we got out here, he was the Mr. Rodriguez was burning a large cargo. And his story, he had seven of them along the property. Mr. Rodriguez claimed that he was going to make bunkers since just after Hurricane Katrina. As you can see in just a minute, that's not his plans. I think this to be, I believe this to be one of the largest underground indoor groves in North Central Florida. Uh, it had right at a million dollars worth of marijuana. It's hydroponic. And uh, also inside this underground uh, bunker was a 100 watt diesel generator for power. Alright, let's take a look see what we got down here. I'll let the man in the uniform go down first. You need to hold anything for you? No, I'm good. I need to put this stuff down if I'm going to go play. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay, this is the 100 watt diesel generator. Um, we believe it to be broke. And so he was diverting power, still in power from Central Florida. You can see exposed wires. This is always a concern for our safety. And uh, this is why we discontinued our search yesterday. But you have, uh, I think this was, I think it's broke now, but it was a water cooling system. You got the balance. You got lava rocks right here. And as you can see, the, what he did with the lava rocks. Oh, At one time, all of these buckets, five gallon buckets, had different stages of marijuana plants. Very high, uh, potent marijuana plants. And uh, has it on timers. He has a thermometer. This room is roughly 72 degrees. He has a, a grow check with the pH. Uh, inside this room, you'll notice you're a little bit cooler. It's yeah. about 60 degrees. But then again, all of this with marijuana plants. Had several air conditioning units, uh, fans, humidifiers, uh, nutrients to feed the, the plants, liquid fertilizer. Still more rooms. So basically we had four rooms. 